playing Runt, um, and she is a young girl who's growing up in Cork City and uh, kind of on the cusp of like womanhood and starting to question like who she is and where she fits in in the world and um, who she is without her best friend Pig. I think that's what this play is like exploring um, their intense, the intensity of their relationship and just waking up to the idea that she is maybe somebody in her own right. Um, and I think she's she's someone who she has like a very romantic view in the world. Like she has romantic aspirations, which doesn't necessarily align with her life. How to put them, pin them down is a manic energy kind of character, restless, crazy guy. Fun, hopefully fun to play. This play was first staged 20 years ago now. I think it's lost none of its power to kind of astonish people or move people. Um, and for me, I'd always, I'd always wanted to direct it kind of ever since I read it. And I worked with Ender Walsh a couple of years ago on another production of a, a different play written by him. Um, but I'd always had this one in mind. And I think that's because one of the brilliant things he's able to do as a writer is that he's able to conjure kind of really indelible theatrical images so that we recognise ourselves in these people and we can relate to them, but also um, also that they can kind of, they can relate to us. They kind of act as almost like a mirror kind of for the audience, I think. So he creates these characters who are, who sometimes do kind of awful things, but actually I think at the heart of them is something really pure and something really playful. Well, reading it is kind of a head melter because it's kind of written in that dialect. So you do kind of you go a bit crazy trying to break it down until you say it out loud. As the play begins and we, we think that it's a particular thing and then I think his brilliance as a writer is that he takes you into this kind of darker, more frightening place than the one you'd imagined you were going to enter into at the start of the evening. So I think that for me the most important thing is that it has a real visceral impact upon people and a big part of that is going to be through music and lighting and sound and kind of colour. I was attracted to it because of how weird and how different it is. Um, the language was just so funny and I think I, like it, it took me a few times to understand it when I read it through. But then I started to like realise, yeah, when you when you have a best friend or when you have a uh, you know a really close relationship, you you do get like short hands with each other. You get you develop new words and sounds and things and that other people don't understand and this is like 17 years worth of that and I just thought that was so romantic and I think also just the vibrancy of the play it's got it's so it's so energetic and vibrant and crazy and like it really just sweeps you into the story and I, I love that.